my goodness, y'all are in for a treat. I mean, y'all better sit down for this. Have you ever heard of Everplate? Every plate. It is a meal plan thing that you can order. You pick your meals, they send it in a box. This is the box they send it in. Right there. And so we pick our meals, and it's just for two people. And we, they send it. And now we don't do this in the wintertime because in the wintertime we have to budget a lot more. But in the summertime, I just, this is our first one to cook. We got one last week, but I had to freeze it. I, um, I was too busy with mother. But like today, today was just a long day for us. And I decided this would be a perfect time to have one of these. So tonight we're going to have Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and I had the option of getting carrots, but I decided not to get the carrots. I decided to get green beans, but then I decided I didn't want the green beans. So then I said, well, let's just have this salad that comes with it. So anyway, this is what it looks like. We're gonna boil our potatoes. Garlic's not under there, is it? No. Okay. I went ahead and prepared, you know, chopped up everything so it wouldn't take so long. I'll tell you, the first time we did one of these things, mother and I, we would get them back when she lived with me. And we would get them, my, my daughter would send us one, send us three, three a week. Well, one box has three meals in it as a way of uh, saying thank you for me and mother watching Juniper. So anyway, we, uh, we would make it, but the very first one that I made, let me tell you something. It accidentally somehow with my finger hit emergency number. But anyway, first time I made one of these, it took me oh, forever. It's cooking. It's going to the fire department. It is not. So anyway, I decided that I would um, do one. It took me, I mean, forever. But as I was reading the directions wrong. But that second time I did one, it's like, oh, this is easy. So mother and I, you should see her. She would run out to the porch when the UPS delivered it. And she would get it and she'd bring it in and she'd look, let's see what we got this week. And she would look at all the recipes and she'd say, okay, Vicki, let's do this one. And she'd start chopping and boiling water and we just had the best time. So y'all just bear with us. Are you sitting down yet? You better just go and sit down because this may be just the most, I may not even post it. That's just, I mean, I don't know. It's not going to be like a Janice. And if you're homesteading, don't turn your nose up because we city folks now. It comes with the meat in a little pack. He's in charge of the meat. I'm gonna be in charge of the mashed potatoes and the salad. Can't see. Got it off? No, I got it off. But you know, everything, everything you need is in the box. Everything. And then it gives you directions on what to do. I just love it when he helps me cook. So it says a soy sauce. Well, it gives you a little packet of soy sauce. Yep. Half of these. Panko. Says a little bit of a uh, panko crumbs. Guess what? You got a packet of it. That's about half. I don't know. We're professionals here. Right you put that water out? Yeah, because I got panko in it. Oh, well, that's okay. I don't know if it's going in the same spot. What's next? It's called, I call it a... Uh, that don't go in the... The B. Right there. You want me to do it or you want to do it? right. Oh, oh. Oh, let us pause for a little marital counseling. Yeah. It just set out a little beef broth, and guess what? It's got a little packet of that. What's next? Water. Two tablespoons of water. You do put the ranch spice in here. Let me go get the ranch spice. It even comes with the onion. I thinly sliced it. All right, it says 
a half a teaspoon for four. Now we're doing two, so we need a quarter teaspoon of that, right? Yep. doing the potatoes and I got everything chopped up for him. Oh you do need some of that ranch spice from the potatoes. Okay. And that's it. Is that it? Well we gotta brown it. So you want me to go ahead and put it on you make four patties. potatoes done. I put in the sour cream, the butter, and the ranch seasoning. It's got the meat cooked. Well, almost brown. cooked. Brown. Transferring the patties back into the gravy where they'll cook, finish cooking. While that meat is in there cooking in the gravy, we were talking about a memory that popped up, and this is when I was working at a hospital. It was 45 minutes away. Well, he would get home before I would, and he had watched a YouTube or something, some, some sort of video he had watched about how to make biscuits. Never tried before. Never tried biscuits before. And I come in, and I open the back door, and I come in and it was like a cloud, like fog. I thought, oh my gosh, is he making drugs? What is going on here? You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> making drugs. Are you making drugs? Because, you know, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a mask to get through to the kitchen. And I get in there and there is flour everywhere. Oh my goodness. He had used how many pounds of flour? I don't know, a whole bunch. A whole bunch of flour, like a bag of flour. And he come out of that oven with four biscuits. <laughs> four. Well, they but tasted good. They were good. <laughs> they ugly. were good. <laughs> they were ugly, but they were good. And I had flour for days. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a, I don't know, what is a powdery, powdery drug? I don't know, but it was just, literally had to just wander through it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. But I made them. He made them. And I guess it was either wait for me to get home, and it was 45 minutes to get home. I'd get off at 5, sometimes way later than that. And he would get in that kitchen, and he started cooking. Now, he can cook certain things. Um, 
I do think well on the grill. <laughs> he does well on the grill. He does an excellent breakfast. I remember one time, and this is the first time, I guess after I'd gone back to work, because I'd been at stay at home for a while, and I come in, and he had cooked supper. It was hamburger steak, which is really good, green beans, Crowder peas, and green butter beans. Getting the bean going on there, wasn't it? Because he likes all three of those vegetables, but there was no variety in that meal tonight. It don't matter. He cooked. I'm proud of him. <laughs> We're going to sit here and wait for the meat to get ready, and just like that, I'll show you a picture when we got it plated. Oh, look at me, using those fancy words, plated. Plated, look. Well, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was very good. Very good. I have just a little bit left on my plate. I think his is all the way empty. Yeah, I licked the plate. It was definitely a redo. All right, y'all take care. See ya. <laughs>